welcome everyone well if you have uh, missed the previous uh, session that we just conducted at 7 pm we are going to conduct the session again because we had some problem with the audio so in this session we are going to learn how to scrape data from website and how to do that using excel only we are not going to use any other tool like selenium robot python java we are going to use only excel and only simple macros which we are going to write in vba so first of all what you need to do is you need to open excel and then click alt f11 by this you are going to open a vb editor and then what you need to do is uh, by the by default you would be having it like this uh, you need to go and right click and insert a module from here and you would have this module one added to your project now this is the area where you are going to write the code for scraping data from website first of all you need to go to tools and then references and you need to import the libraries that we are going to use for data scraping from websites so those two libraries are to scroll a bit you will find microsoft html object library and microsoft internet controls so here is the one Microsoft HTML object library. The second one is Microsoft Internet controls. Once you import these two, after that, create a sub procedure named as test or whatever you want to put. The first step for writing a macro for data scraping is you need to perform some action on browser. And to perform action on browser, as a first step, you need to launch the browser. And to launch the browser, you need to initialize the browser. And before initializing it through code, we need to declare them. So the first step in programming is declaration. So we declare the variable dem ie as Internet Explorer. This is the part of library that we have just imported. Since we open the browser, which is Internet Explorer, after opening Internet Explorer, we are going to open different URLs on that browser. Now, on those URLs, basically known as web pages, we are going to perform some operations. Those web pages are considered as documents. And for those documents, we are creating another object. We are declaring it, dem ht as, and its type is HTML document. So we have done this declaration. After that, it is time to initialize them. So to initialize, we have a keyword named as set. Use the object name that you have used earlier. Use the keyword named as new and the type which you want to create. So you have created Internet Explorer instance. Let us run it. Nothing has happened. It has actually launched a browser. If you go to task manager and you go to details, you would see there is a process running for Internet Explorer. Now this was launched using this code only. Let us see once again. I am removing all the processes for Internet Explorer. There is no process named as Internet Explorer now. But when I run the code again, you would see this process popping up again. Right? So that means it is opening the process. But we are not able to see the browser. To make it visible, we need to set the property visible to true. By default, its value is false. So when we run it again, it is now visible. So, so far, we are successfully able to launch the browser using the vba code right the next step is we need to open a url for that we are going to use the same object ie and we have a method named as navigate now in brackets we have one argument which is required here so all the arguments which you see as it is are mandatory arguments the arguments which are in square brackets are optional arguments it is not mandatory to pass these arguments 
so to navigate to some url it is mandatory for you to give that url here and that url is a string so strings always are provided in double quotes so http www.google.com right so let us run it again so now it is opening google.com let us try some other url which you want to open for testing we have a good url where we have different controls also where we have some elements like a simple form text box we have a drop down we have a radio button set we have uh, check boxes set we have button we have images we have some text so this is a good example to try the first example so what we are going to do is we are not going to open google rather we are going to open this url right let us run this code again and see whether it is opening our url or not like it was opening google.com so it is working fine right so we are able to open the url next step let's say is we need to after opening the url we need to fill something in the text box in the name now how would my code be able to identify this name and how would it be able to fill something here in this text box so in the browser this is a document we need to first set that this is the document of the browser so we need to initialize the document to perform operations on the document so set ht equals now we need not create another new object for it because we are going to use the existing document which we have already opened through ie.navigate method so we are going to use ie.document so i is the browser and its document its current document is assigned to the object ht whose type is html document after assigning this what we can do is hg dot we have certain methods by which we are able to locate elements on the page and these methods are get element by id get element by class name get elements by class name get elements by tag name get elements by tag name namespace so if the if uh, uh, for those people who are already aware of selenium and other automation tools you must be finding it a bit uh, friendly names uh, you can see uh, because in selenium also we have methods like get uh, driver dot find element by id name class and so on and so forth similar methods we have here in this library also right so let us use the get element by id method first of all we need to go to the html dom of this page so for that we open developer tools for that we have a shortcut f12 right so you have an inspector here on the left side click on this inspector take it to your element where you want to perform operation and you would be able to see the html source code of that page of that element instead if you read out this entire line which is highlighted for this element it is input input is a tag id is one of the attributes and in double quotes we have the value of id then we have a class which is second attribute whose value is this we have a type attribute whose value is this we have name attribute whose value is this let us use the id because id in html is generally uh, the unique part and it is recommended to use id if you have it uh, to do the automation so we use get element by id method and in double quotes we need to provide the id and then you can see we need to perform some write operation on this particular element so if i have a look again what what this ht was ht was the document of the browser so this part is the document of the browser get element by id is going to give me a element on the page so inside this document we are going to locate an element so this entire piece is a element on this element you want to set some value so dot value equals come on let us run this code 
and instead of running it through f5 or directly running it from here i am going to run it by f8 in debug mode so that i can run it line by line so initialization is done visible is done navigation is in progress and i am waiting uh, for it to complete and only then i'll be running this statement otherwise if you want to run it in one go you need to put some weight here so that it do not try to assign the document before the page loads so to avoid those sync issues you need to put a delay here so once you assign the ht html document you need to perform this operation and this operation is basically if you scroll down is setting the text on the text box so this is the first operation that we have performed on the web page using excel vba we are going to perform some more operations like clicking on elements and that's how we do automation we perform operations and we take some text let's perform another operation to do click operation on the page so for that we go again to the page uh, let's say i want to click on this one this radio button so i inspect this this is a radio button whose id is this i go back to the code ht dot get element by id dot click is the method okay so let us run this again i am running it again by f8 navigate see it is giving me error because i am not waiting for page to load so that's why it was giving me error now after waiting if i run now it is not giving me error so it filled the name kamal it clicked on the check uh, the radio button you can see the name is filled you can see the radio button is clicked so we have performed two operations now let's say we want to fetch some text from the page what we want to fetch is we want to fetch something like here or we can go to developer tools again maybe in chrome So we have tags h2 right so let us first search for tag h2 how many objects do we have we have six objects so it is not going to be successful we have five objects with tag h2 we need some other property by which we can read the text to make it simple for the time being i am not going to make it complicated for you because it is the first session so i am making it easy for you uh, let's say you you want to extract something from the ID only or maybe the class name Okay, so let's say uh, you want to use this element and you want to read the value. Okay, so I use this ID I do ht dot get element by ID and in double quotes i put the id and dot get attribute is a method if you want to read the attribute value and which attribute do you want to read i want to read the value attribute why i am writing value because these are the attributes and i want to read the value attribute and i need the value and once i get the value i display in a message box this entire thing okay so our debugger is here which is already executed till this statement i am taking it back on the same page rather than executing it again let's see what it returns it returns don't waste to dis don't want to disclose so this is how we can automate web page because we can launch a browser we can uh, perform operations on the browser we can read text and that that is all we do in automation we perform actions we do assertions if you want to see more such uh, tutorials what you can do is you can write to me and uh, soon we are going to uh, have another webinar where we are going to present to you more such uh, tips because this is just an initial um, you can say initial lecture to 
give you an overview that we can do automation through Excel and VBA. Uh, but in the next tutorials, we are going to be a bit advanced. I want you to practice this part. And in the next uh, session that we are going to uh, uh, do tomorrow, tomorrow in the evening, I'll pass on the time if you subscribe to our channel. Uh, and then uh, in that, we'll be writing a big scrapper from the scratch. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm opening uh, the question window now. You can put the questions in comment section. Even if you, if, if I'm not able to answer right now, I can answer later uh, on the comment section or maybe through email. All right, so I'm not able to see any questions for the time being, but if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, add it here on the board. Uh, and we'll uh, try to find the answers and uh, uh, please subscribe to our channel and uh, uh, you will see the next webinar very soon. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye.